So do you guys just enjoy going down 21 points before having to win by 17 to 20? Or how do you explain the symmetry between what happened 10 days ago and tonight or eight days ago? Um, you know, I think you got to give some, some credit to them. I think uh, they came out and they were ready to go. And um, I think we just had a little bit more energy and toughness at the beginning of the game. And um, we definitely don't enjoy going <laughs> going down, that's for sure. Um, not a great recipe uh, to win games, especially um, a tough schedule that we have. Um, so, you know, I think just uh, credit to them. But then also I think uh, we just need to do a better job of having high energy and, and uh, playing better defense to start the game. Speaking of high energy, how would you describe, characterize Coach Forbes' halftime message? Um, it, not as crazy as you would imagine, but um, – I know you guys have some pretty <laughs> crazy imaginations uh, of Coach Forbes, but he was, uh, um, you know, laying in us a little bit about just, the, you know, getting back to our identity, gritty, grimy, tough, and, and um, making sure that we were playing hard. Uh, I feel like he got on us about, like, you know, bringing the energy, and I think that definitely starts with the point guard, so I'll put that on my back. Uh, I feel like I should have came out and, you know, gave that defensive edge and then, lead the guy so everybody will have that energy from the jump. Andrew, what did you guys have going defensively in the second half that wasn't necessarily there in the first? Um, you know, I think they uh, decided, I think a little bit more uh, of making them miss. You know, they had uh, nine threes, I think it was, in the first half yeah. um, and only made one in the second half. Um, you know, I think early we gave them a couple of good looks. And then, you know, when, when someone gets it going, it, it makes those crossover step backs a little bit easier. And um, then they started making those a little bit. So I think making every shot a little bit tough so they couldn't get into a rhythm is really important. And um, they started uh, feeling it a little bit in the first half. And we did a good job of that first four minutes uh, of the second half, making sure they got no rhythm at all. And then. Um, those same shots that they were making in the first half um, were tough shots. So, And then, Andrew, also in the second half, pretty much the entire half going with a small lineup with you at the five, what was your comfort level there, and, and how would you characterize the performance of a team with that small ball lineup? Yeah, I think uh, it's really important to have multiple looks. And, um, you know, I, I think, you know, Matt did a great job when he, when he was out there, Zach as well. But um, I think uh, – when you're playing a team with uh, a little bit smaller guys, it's uh, a little bit easier to match up like that with me at the five. And, um, you know, I think everybody did a great job of um, being able to do that. And throughout the season, you know, we're going to need every single type of lineup depending on who we're playing. Um, so I think that, you know, today it, it just worked out that I ended up playing the five a little bit more. And, and um, you know, I started working in the second half. Poop, you talked about the defensive intensity. You ended, ended the game with 17 points, but you also got a couple steals and buckets out of it. How good did that feel to make an impact on, you know, both sides of the court? Uh, it definitely felt good, you know, but uh, I think it was from that second half in the locker room. Uh, we went in, like, my teammates gave me energy to go out and do that, you know. I seen we was down, so uh, my team just gave me energy to go do that and get a lot of steals, and that's what came up with it. And, Andrew, also, in, in terms of you, I mean, you had a career high points, but – also, your team out rebounded uh, Elon like twenty four to eight in the second half. You had four block shots. It seems to me that those type of things probably had more of an impact in this result than the pure scoring. Am I wrong? Uh, no, definitely, definitely. Not. I think that that was um, you know a little bit of what uh, we were lacking in the first half. You know, I think um, I don't know how many second chance points they had in the first half or, or any of that, but um, regardless, um, rebounding was a big thing. We got a bunch of offensive rebounds in the second half. Um, as well, to get those extra possessions are, are huge. And, um, you know, just being able to, to impact shots, um, you know, that's always what I try to do, especially playing the five, being able to um, kind of time some up, track the ball, and, and, you know, go make a play on it. Poopy, real quick, one of your first, if not the first, home game here at Wake Forest. What did you make of the atmosphere tonight? Uh, it was great, man. I love the fans, all the energy they give us, because I, I definitely hear them during the game, you know. And the fans going to take us a long way of just giving us that energy when we get, like, defensive stops like that and actually making threes and making twos and making tough plays. So the fans, that was a nice experience.
And Andrew or Boopy, um, lots of turnovers in the first half and then virtually none in the second. What kind of, I mean, why did that really happen in the first half? And then how did you get it going in the second? Uh, I think that was basically off them coming out. You know, I'll give respect to that team. You know, Elon, they came out with way more energy and way more fight than we had. So I think when we calmed down and Coach Ford talked to us in the locker room, I think we came out and came out with a better back plan of just going out and playing harder every day. Yeah, I think um, also just uh, we knew coming in that they were going to be uh, heavy in the gaps. So I think uh, getting a little bit more comfortable um, with getting off the ball early, getting it moving faster instead of, um, you know, you know, when they're heavy in the gaps, you got to get a lot of quick pitches instead of just uh, trying to drive it through there. Real quick, AC, you were able to not only get to the line tonight, but you were able to convert a lot of end ones. How important was it for you to be able to fight through the contact, to be able to get only only have to take one foul shot instead of having to make two? Yeah, you know, I think um, it's always great when you only got one shot. That means uh, you made the shot before. So, um, you know, I think uh, – just mentality thing, kind of going to the second half, kind of uh, turned down a couple of shots in, in the beginning, and teammates, um, as they should, like yelled at me that I need to <laughs> need to shoot the ball. And so, um, you know, being a, being aggressive was a mindset going into that second half, and um, was really able to convert. And um, you know, you got to just uh, play through the contact. I was able to do that tonight. Cam tonight leading the team in both points and minutes. What did his leadership mean for this victory? You know, uh, he starts that leadership in practice. You know, I think it starts with practice. Cam is a hardworking guy. He always goes hard at everything he do. And I think that just translates from practice to the game. And that's what he did today. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we all work really hard. Um, and, and, you know, he's one of those guys. And um, starts with him leading, uh, even in the locker room, he was a uh, fired up trying to get us to, to rally as well. And, and um, you know, he does a great job of that. And, and he leads by example. So, he, you know, he went out there and um, talking about being super tough and um, getting stops on defense. And then he'll go out there and, and you know, he does the dirty work and, and plays really tough defensively. So. I hate to bring this up, but how did that first half kind of, how did you all kind of take that in? I mean, uh, Elon jumped out from the get-go. Mm -hmm jumped out to 30 to 13 lead. You had to be thinking, this is not what we planned this night to be. How did you kind of handle all that in the moment in the first half? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, you know, it's tough to be in that type of situation just because, uh, that, like you said, it's not as you would have expected um, the, this, the season opener at home and everything to go. The first half is, um, you know, you, you want to be able to go out there, start on a, on a good note. Um, but, you know, I, I think it was really important for us to, to just stay calm. And um, I think it, it was critical for us to kind of get it going a little bit towards the, the end of the first half. Um, saw some, some shots fall, a couple threes. Um, you know, so, so trying to get that momentum towards the end of the first half, I think, was crucial. Uh, you know, Coach always talks about adversity. You know, teams are going to hit a lot of shots. It's just like what we're going to do on the back end of just the adversity and everything. So. Going off that, I feel like when they hit them threes, I know our head got down, but it was my job to pick the team up. You know, Cam lead it, you know, AC lead it, and all the older guys lead it to just keep pushing. And that's what we did the second half. Thanks. Thank you.
Well, I thought uh, Elon came out tonight and just punched us in the mouth and played harder, played more aggressive, um, was a tougher team, and basically just whipped us in the first half. And the way we played in the first half is just not acceptable. It's gross. And where we want to go and where we want to be, we can't do it. And But, I, I mean, I don't want to take away the credit of Coach Taylor's team because – I thought they came out and were ready to go. I didn't think we were. We played tight on offense. We told them that this was going to be a team that was going to be protect the rim, not by shot, by blocking shots, but by being in the gaps, rallying to the ball. You got to come off the ball. So we did it, so we turned it over. And I think they had 12 points off turnovers in the first half. Our defensive transition was a wreck. Couldn't get matched up. We told them, listen, any of them can bring it. You got to go back, get matched up, find a guy. We were all over the place. Um, and then I thought uh, the ball screen, not the big's fault. Guards just getting whipped at the point of attack. Uh, we're in the drop, so you got to you got to continue to pursue the, pursue the ball off the drop. We didn't, and they just shot little pots, you know, little easy shots in there. Which are those are shots we want them to take those tough twos, but they got to be have some pressure on them. And they didn't have any. And so it was, it, was, it was a lot of things, you know. And then we made uh, – so for the first 15 minutes, they were a way better team. And then, you know, we made a run there to start to end the half, gave us some confidence. And in the second half, we <laughs> played like we practiced, you know. And, and this, this team, I really believe that you play like you practice, you practice like you play. But we didn't do that in the first half. We had tremendous practices after the Alabama game. So – uh, we got to get it figured out because we're going to play um, some really good competition coming up, um, and that ain't going to get it. Now, you know, obviously Hunter and or uh, Cameron played like Cameron's been playing. He played outstanding, you know, and led us in scoring and assists. Hunter playing on a sprained ankle and got us going there. He, he went through a stretch where he was ridiculous, and then. You know, Andrew Carr, it might be one of the best games he's played here. You know, he was really steady all game on offense and defense. Boopy had a good second half. I thought he sparked us defensively a little bit by putting some pressure on the ball. And he was handsy. But we weren't we weren't doing that in the first half. And then, you know, we got two freshmen out there. Marcus played 28 minutes. Um, Marcus, this is, not, this is called winning. Marcus had two points in 28 minutes. It was plus 26. What does that tell you? He makes winning plays. He's a really good defender. Can't get around him. Um, I'm, I'm really proud of him and Parker. You know, Parker played 24 minutes and, you know, made a couple big shots. Had one that went kind of went down. He probably would have had double figures. So, you know, good second half, but it's not – it's just not acceptable what we did in the first half. Go ahead. Apparently, this is the first D1 basketball game. A team trailed by 20 and went on to still win by 20. How does that hit you? I, I don't know. I, I'm not happy, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm happy that we won. Um, but we can't we can't play like that. Expect to win at the level that we want to win at. We are capable of winning at. So, um, you know, that's just one of those things that, I wouldn't know that. Um, it's not something I would say that I would be particularly proud of, to be honest. Has Cam's role changed at all in your system? Um, yeah, I mean, I think Cam, you know, he's got the ball more. You know, like, he didn't play a lot as a freshman. Played some. You know, last year the ball was in Ty's hands a lot. You know, um, they had Damari out there, Davian. Um, you know, this year – you know, him and Hunter have the ball in their hands a lot, and I trust them. You know, they make good decisions. And, you know, Cam's, is, Cam's one of the hardest playing kids in college basketball. Let's be honest here. He plays both ends, right? He don't just go down there and score now. He plays defense too. I thought he got – I thought he was a little oh, not patient in the first half on offense. We hadn't loosened him up enough for him to drive it in there yet. You know, some of that was we couldn't make a shot. You know, we shot three air balls to start the game. I was like, what? whose team is this? You know, um, you know, we score 101 points. So, 
Um, yeah, I think he's role. He's a, he's a leader. He's he's matured. He's he's your. You now he's been here three years now. You know, and uh, hopefully, you know, we got him. Got he's got to continue on this path. Coach Andrew said your halftime speech was quote not as crazy as you would imagine. What was the message to the team? Well, I mean, some, just because you yell at somebody doesn't mean they're gonna play better. You know, yeah, I was animated. Um, the message was real simple. It's just I hate to be repetitive, but quit turning the ball over. Okay, be more physical at the point of attack on the ball screen and get your ass back on defense. Keep them in front of you. Okay, uh, body between, shoot contested shots, go get them, rebound them. What happened when we did that? They couldn't make anything. I mean, they're shooting horse shots out there a little bit in the first half. And so um, it's not always, like I said, it's not always complicated, you know, especially with these guys. They're smart. They know how to play. Just got to go out and do it. And then in the second half, almost the entire half, you went with a small ball lineup with Andrew yeah, at the five. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I, we had to. They, they weren't a very big team. Stretch you out a little bit. You know, Essex, um, it's not always going to be that way. Matt, it wasn't match night. Not 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 he did anything terribly wrong. He just, it was a better matchup for us. Um, you know, that's the difference of playing Alabama, playing Georgetown, then going and playing Elon. There's just different sized people out there. And their center was out tonight, you know, and so – uh, that made it a little faster, and so we had to we had to adjust, you know. And I thought they did a good job of adjusting with that. Steve, the the defense in the second half, you, you got mm -hmm. a hand in their face. What was the what was the difference in getting your guys to perform that level? They're nine for fourteen in the first half behind the arc, I know. And one for nine in the second. I know. I mean, I think a lot of it's just effort, man. Just, and I don't think they're dogging it. I just they didn't have the urgency that is needed to play. A Division One basketball game in the first half, you know, um, it's not schematic, you know. We yeah, we blitzed some ball screens. We tried to get them going, and I think it did get us going at the end of the first half. We trapped some ball screens and got more aggressive. We were just on our heels for whatever reason. Okay, I don't know. Um, maybe have to check their astrology or something. I don't know. I I got to figure it out though because we can't do that. Um, I just don't know. I think we just played more aggressive, you know, and, and, and when we did that, we know how to play. Um, we got more more aggressive at the point of attack, more aggressive coming off the ball screens, and we didn't turn it over. Pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Marcus had six rebounds. I think Andrew had nine. This might be a more extreme version of what you wanted, but do you think this was a good experience for the team to get punched in the mouth and then figure it out? No. No, I don't. I'm not happy um, with that. No, no. They, we, we, it's not how we practice. It's not how they're taught to come out and play like that. No, I don't think so. You know, yeah, we survived. You know, Alabama was eight guys, and, you know, they battled, and that was great. Now, no. Uh-uh. No, we got to get that fixed. Just a couple of housekeeping notes. Uh -huh. Was – Janetta able to make it tonight? Yeah, yeah. She comes up. Um, she'll probably be here at every game, hopefully. You know, sits up in the box. Um, you know, she, she keeps the door closed because, um, like I said before, she's lost hearing. She's not going to regain hearing in her right ear. And so she's got a ringing noise in her ear. So it's a little hard to be out in the crowd. But, uh, yeah, she, she was here. She was. She's, I'm sure she's excited. And when do you hope to hear something about Efren? Yeah, you know, I wrote this down. I mean, we're going to continue to – to wait for the NCA regarding his waiver um, when we receive final notification on comment. So what does that mean? Well, after the ACC media day, a few days after I had met with the press, he did get denied. Um, but listen, 90 some percent or more of these are getting denied and then they go to, to appeal and then that's where they get approved or denied for the last time. And so um, we'll just wait for a final word. Coach, real quick, how was the reliability of being able to keep your captains like Lucy and Cam, being able to keep their leadership on the floor for Huge. guys like Marcus and Parker yeah. to be able to learn? Good from question. That? Huge. I think without that, I don't. You know, we probably don't win the game. You know, those guys, Andrew and Cam, have been through it. You know, and uh, they're they're the guys respect them because. 
you got if you if you practice if you bring it every day and practice and you uh, you know lead by example, then people will follow you. And those guys do that every day. They don't take a day off. You know, and Hunter don't either. He don't either. Um, you know, and it hurt not to have him in there the last ten minutes. You know, um, he was he was going. He got it going there pretty good. It was kind of a contest there for a minute. Who's going to have more points between him and Cam again? Um, but then Andrew stepped it up, like you said. And Andrew's, Andrew's, Andrew's a really good player, man. He can do a lot of things. He can block some shots. He can switch. He can guard the five. He can guard the four. Yeah, he's he's good, real good. All right, boys.